hesitate to call this passenger car the find of a lifetime. Who wants to be that dramatic? But it was a heck of a deal. One of three on the same day, actually. All of them heavyweight passenger cars by K-Line and bought by me for $15 a piece. It was a good Saturday. One car was nearly new but the other two both needed some work on their truck assemblies. I have a feeling that this car may have been dropped at some point in its life. Luckily for me, the shell is undamaged. It's beautiful. None of the handrails are missing. It's in great shape. But I think it may have fallen hard enough to loosen the truck side frame and dislodge two sets of axles. Where they ended up, I'll never know. I think the easiest thing for me to do would be just to get a whole new truck assembly on eBay. This one even comes pre-wired. How much can it be? <coughs> I think I just got sucker punched. Look at these prices. $39? $49? No, I don't think so. I'll fix it myself with some parts that I can find laying around here. At some point in this car's past, a previous owner made a trip to the hardware store and found a screw and a nut to reattach this coupler. But one side frame is loose from the center section, which allowed the wheel assemblies to fall out. A repair was attempted with some kind of orange glue, but it didn't really work. I'll clean both of the areas before I put it all back together. When I reassemble it, I will use a two-part epoxy instead of orange glue. If we are to learn anything from history, then we must acknowledge the scientific fact that any model molded in yellow plastic is cursed and completely unworthy of restoration or repainting. I couldn't agree with him more. Yellow plastic is a plague in our times that must be eradicated at any cost. But that doesn't mean that I can't use these axles. The Lionel wheel sets are nearly identical to what K-Line used. The wheel's diameter and the length of each axle seem to be the same, so I think this will work out just fine. I picked this up at the dollar store, even though it was a buck and a quarter now. I'll mix equal parts of the glue and the hardener together before I apply it to both pieces. I already removed one, but I used two clamps to hold this together before removing them both on the next day. The epoxy seems to have worked really well, and all three axles spin freely, and the trucks are holding them firmly in place. 
I have just a few wires to reconnect and then this whole thing can go back together. I liked these cars with the silhouettes in the windows when I was a kid. Then I bought an MTH passenger car with a full interior and fell in love with the detail. But once these are on the track, lit from within, and all of the room's lights are off, you remember why these were so cool when you were younger. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.